Al Hassan, Bangladesh cricketer. On Friday, Bangladesh cricketer Shakib Al Hassan and his wife narrowly escaped an accident after the helicopter that was carrying the two crashed immediately after dropping them in Cox's Bazaar. Cricketer and his wife is fine but in this tragedy one person was killed and four got injured. Yavraj Singh, Indian Creek Eater Yavraj Singh was diagnosed with lung cancer in the year 2012. The two more that had grown between his lungs spread soon after. Having undergone a grievous chemotherapy session at U.S., the cricketer battled cancer and emerged as the same old strong batsman he once was. Sachin Tendulkar, Indian Creek Eater Batting legend Sachin Tendulkar also faced almost death-like experience while railway track crossing. Sachin said right from the age of 11, I travelled by trains in Mumbai. When I travelled, I had a kit bag. I have also experienced jostling, being pushed in and out of trains. Wasim Akram, Pakistani cricketer Former Pakistan cricket captain and legendary player Wasim Akram had a near-death experience, in a road rage incident, in Karachi. The ex-cricketer however is unheard after an unidentified person opened fire at him but the bullet went on to hit Akram's Mercedes-Benz. The incident happened when Wasim Akram was on his way to National Stadium, and was supposed to conduct a training camp for young fast bowlers. Jesse Ryder, New Zealand Cricketer Jesse Ryder, the New Zealand batsman, is in an induced coma in hospital after brutally beaten in a bar fight in the year 2013. Having suffered a fractured skull in the incident, the cricketer fell into a coma for over 56 hours. His family also had given up hope of living but he responding to medication soon after, Jesse emerged out of coma. Muttaya Muralitharan, Sri Lankan Cricketer A former Sri Lankan cricketer Muralitharan had a narrow death experience with the tsunamis. At the time when this accident happened Muralitharan was alongside his wife and brother attending a charity event. Such immense was its effect that the entire cricket stadium was wiped out but Muttaya's family thus was unharmed from the fatality of the waves. Michael Clark, Australian Cricketer Former Australian cricketer Michael Clark was diagnosed with skin cancer in the year 2006. Having undergone a grievous treatment and several surgeries, Michael emerged cancer-free. Matthew Hayden, Australian Cricketer Former Australian cricketer, Matthew Hayden survived testicular cancer. He was grievously injured in his testicles with a football at the age of 16. Resultant, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer. By the time he made his cricketing debut in the year 2011, Hayden had successfully beaten the fatal disease. Andrew Flintoff, England A former England fast bowler, batsman Andrew Flintoff escaped death in the year 2007, when his adventurous spirit resulted in tragedy. A day prior England's match against the West Indies, Flintoff was heavily drunk and, aboard a boat along with his teammates. Induced by alcohol, he jumped into the Caribbean Sea and survived from a fatal drown. Dinesh Shandimal, Sri Lankan Cricketer Dinesh Shandimal escaped the horrendous tsunami that occurred in the year 2004. Dinesh's residence was entirely destroyed in the incident, but his entire family emerged unharmed. Sri Lankan's team bus attacked. On March 4, 2009, a team bus carrying Sri Lankan players was fired upon by 10 to 12 gunmen at the Liberty Square, roundabout in Lahore, as they were on their way to Gaddafi Stadium. 
six members of the Sri Lankan team were injured in the incident. Six Pakistani policemen and two civilians were also killed. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.